Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing, and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk boxing for a second here before we talk about the financial world and how that could impact boxing, right? Triple G is a big name. He's the middleweight champion. He is unbeaten. Now, you have two other big names who have been talking about their willingness to fight him, right? Timothy Bradley is talking about fighting him at 160 pounds. I believe Bradley beats Jesse Vargas. I believe Bradley gives Janady Golovkin all he can handle. I know many disagree here, but I believe, it's my thesis, that Golovkin has a problem with shorter guys who can get inside. Right? Look at the Kasim Uma fight. Well, that's exactly who Timothy Bradley is. More importantly, Bradley is a switch. He can operate from the outside. Look at his fight against Juan Manuel Marquez. I think Bradley would present a small, difficult target for Golovkin. And if you research Bradley's past, you're going to find out that Bradley used to weigh more than he weighs now. Bradley at 160 is not that big of a reach. Understand, too, that Bradley has wins over future Hall of Famers Manny Pacquiao, uh, Juan Manuel Marquez, right? Bradley has beaten both guys. Understand, Bradley beat and then unbeaten Devin Alexander, right? Bradley has already beaten Rushlin Provotnikov, right? Bradley's put together quite the resume. He is a significant, meaningful opponent. Then, of course, there's Floyd Mayweather. Now, Mayweather has a Showtime contract that's going to run out after his next fight. He wants his next fight to be big, right? Few fights would be as big as Mayweather against Golovkin. Understand, many people tune in to see Mayweather lose. I'm telling you that I was in Vegas not at the fight, but just in Vegas, being in Vegas, the weekend of the Manny Pacquiao-Floyd Mayweather fight. And I'm telling you, in my opinion, there were many more Manny Pacquiao fans there than Mayweather fans, right? After the fight, a fight Mayweather dominated. Many people were talking about conspiracy, this, that, and the other you know, Manny Pacquiao wanting a rematch and the scoring being not on the up and up. In other words, people were dissatisfied with the outcome and had their own theories. They weren't satisfied with the idea of Mayweather winning. So I have no doubt that if Mayweather fights Golovkin, a guy who's a belt holder in a heavier weight class, that fight is going to net Mayweather nine figures. Right? There are going to be a lot of people saying, okay, finally, Mayweather's in with a guy who can knock him out, a guy who's looked dominant. Right, That's going to generate a lot of buzz. Right, So pay close attention to what's going on there. I don't think Mayweather and Glove can actually fight, but just understand it is an option. Mayweather has put himself in a position where he has said he believes he beats Golovkin. He believes Golovkin's not a clever fighter, right? If Golovkin's camp comes back and says, hey, we'll take X dollars for this fight, sign the contract. If Golovkin's camp calls out Mayweather and is willing to fight Mayweather in Vegas where Mayweather's gym is and where Mayweather has business relationships with the MGM Grand, for example, right, a history then that fight is a distinct possibility. But now Triple G's camp is saying, hey, you know what? Forget these guys, right? And understand, you and I privately feel, at least I privately feel, these guys are a tougher opponent than bigger guys, right? Golovkin's camp saying, we'll travel to the United Kingdom to take on Carl Frotch. Now, stylistically, in my opinion, Frotch is an easier fight for Golovkin than either Bradley or Mayweather. 
right? The world can disagree. It's all good, right? I believe Frotch is an easier fight. Frotch is tall, right? Frotch um, likes to slug it out and doesn't like to get on your chest like Timothy Bradley would, right? I would view a Bradley Golovkin fight like the Holofield Tyson first fight, right? In fact, both fights. I would expect Bradley to be able to get his head right here on Golovkin. I'm guessing Golovkin wouldn't be able to extend his arms, right? A Golovkin-Mayweather fight's interesting because I'm guessing Mayweather feels he knows exactly how to block Golovkin's shots because Golovkin throws punches on a loop, right? He's not coming straight down Main Street. I believe Mayweather believes he can either stand back, block the shots, then work Golovkin's ribcage, or he might view Golovkin as a tornado and believe that he can get inside on Golovkin and then, you know, be on his front foot like he was in the Mitchell fight, right? Now, a Carl Frotch fight, I see a little bit differently, and my view is one view. You're going to have many views, right? I see Carl Frotch trying to duke it out with Golovkin from Golovkin's preferred range on the outside. But I see Frotch unable to land his jab because Golovkin moves a lot better than Mikel Kessler, right? I think Golovkin would walk around the ring. He would want Frotch to throw his jab because then Golovkin would want to come in with his shots and start landing tough shots on Carl Frotch, right? Understand, too, there's another dynamic other than the styles that makes a Frotch fight preferable to Golovkin. It's the fact that Frotch hasn't fought for a year, right? Bradley's been active. Mayweather's been active. Frotch has been inactive. So Frotch would be a bit rusty, right? Also, there have been Frotch fights where... Guys have moved around the ring, and you can tell the ring movement has given Carl problems, right? He beat George Groves twice. Carl faced challenging moments in both fights, right? Carl's losing the first fight, gets the stoppage. The second fight's intriguing because while Carl's doing better than in the first fight, understand George Groves is completely lucid. He's not dazed, he's not confused, literally the millisecond before he gets caught with the game winner. Right? In other words, Carl Frotch hadn't dampened Groves before that second knockout. Right? The knockout in the second fight. So, let's just say Golovkin looking at film can see a path to victory. He also sees a rusty fighter, right? Just food for thought. Also, he sees box office. In Carl Frotch's fight against George Groves, the rematch, they pulled 80,000 people to Wembley, right? I'll tell you, Golovkin would be thrilled to pull half that amount, 40,000 people to a fight. That'd be huge. Not only that, in my opinion, Carl Frotch, in retirement, has gotten a bigger aura, right? Because now people haven't seen Carl. There's built up demand for a Carl Frotch fight. Now let's talk about Greece. Let's talk about boxing. Let's talk about storm clouds on the horizon. Now let me say this. The Sean Porter, Adrian Broner fight, almost pulled 2.4 million viewers. Now that's nice. That's a nice number. But it's not a great number, right? A great number is what you got from the NBA Finals, right? You know, huge numbers, most watched finals in a decade or so, right? This is a little bit different. This is a little bit different, right? The 2.4 didn't beat some other numbers on TV that night, right? It was a good number, but it wasn't a great number, right? In other words, PBC, I'm sure they're grateful 
on the numbers, but they're not thrilled with the numbers. Understand PBC relies on, according to reports, mutual funds, in other words, entities with exposure to the stock market for its funding. Right? This isn't, you know, some boxer funding his enterprise. No. This has been packaged to investors who are exposed to world markets. Right? Now, let me just say the world markets right now are in turmoil. People like Ron Paul, and I want you to Google Ron Paul, Stansberry Research, are openly talking about how the stock market is looking at disaster. Right? That stocks are overpriced for a host of reasons. Right? You know, if you just look at the PE multiple right you know if you look at profits and ask yourself at these profit levels what historically has been the price of stocks and if you factor in the idea that certain players right in the financial market uh, Deutsche Bank for example has huge exposure huge to the Greek crisis understand the bank is part of transactions in which Greece has borrowed money. On debt, Greece might repudiate. Debt that might be unpaid. Right? And if you are aware that Lehman Brothers years ago, right, literally vaporized almost overnight. They were there, then they were gone. And if you realize that with the current amount of financial exposure that some of these banks like Deutsche Bank has to Greece's debt right and when you realize the seriousness of the discussion about Greece leaving the EU about Greece repudiating its debt then you understand that any outfit that is as dependent on mutual funds you know stock market investors as the PBC quite frankly has some uncertainty financially going forward right understand too as you look at the EU Greece is not the only country having problems right I encourage people to look at Portugal for example right the EU isn't doing well there's a lot of debt that people privately know is not going to be repaid. Understand, too, many of the creditors, the people lending the money, don't want any of the debt written down. Right? They want the debt rolled over. They want the debt to remain. But, of course, if the debt remains, if the Greek people, for example, have to actually pay off the debt or at least make payments to reduce the principal they might not be able to pay for as much food water and housing as they need to live comfortably right so pay close attention to what's happening with the PBC understand if you read in the paper that Greece has defaulted on its debt obligations right and that you know it has had negative consequences for the US stock market for example just understand that that's gonna impact the PBC understand they paid money they paid networks for the time that they have in which to televise their fights they've made upfront financial commitments you understand that right well they might not be able to do so to the same degree going forward if their investors have to pull out money 
for their own capital needs, to address their own investors. That could happen if there's increased flux in the stock market. So pay close attention to the Greek crisis. Boxing is an international sport. I'm just telling you that some of these boxing outfits have exposure. That's the way I see it. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.